What's going down, everybody? It's your boy, that guy, Mile High, tuning back in for the final episode of season one, episode 50 of the Cushion Coffee Morning Show. Gang, gang, gang. Bruh, this is crazy. And we got some special guests. It's our, it's our, uh, pretty much the, the main guest we've had for season one. We got Ashley, aka Coco Ganja, uh, Ganja Puffs. A little high. That was good. <laughs> go follow her on IG. And we got my dog, Vante, aka Turner One Take. Go, go follow him too. How y'all doing this morning, man? Pretty good. Pretty cool, good. cool. Hell yeah. I appreciate y'all. You know it's what I'm Friday. saying? It's Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's the end of season <laughs> one. We got Eric still behind the mic, the ninja back there. How you yes, doing, sir. pimp? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you feel about this uh this 50? Good. Bro, this, this is dope. 50, bro. Congratulations, bro. That's uh, congratulations to you too. You know and everybody. Yeah, I thank absolutely. all y'all, bro. Like, I couldn't I couldn't have did this without you. I mean, I could have, but it would have been that much harder. You know, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like it was all me. Facts. You know, I just showed up and did me. You did you. You showed up every day as well. And you guys decided to show up and do what you wanted to do and 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 bless us with, you know, some good vibes and some good time good times and good conversations. You know what I'm saying? Throughout this season. So I really appreciate y'all. Like for real. Appreciate Shit's crazy. Yeah, man. And shout out to all the fans out there, man, all the supporters, the followers, you know what I'm saying? Without you guys, you know, it wouldn't have been fun. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys engaging and sharing and, and letting people know and helping us spread the word that this is the best goddamn morning show in the world. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? It definitely helps. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it pushing. We're going to bring back episode t- uh, or season two, uh-huh. episode one. Not this coming Monday, but the Monday after that. Um, here, I can give you an exact date, actually, for that right here. Right, one week I, off? Yeah, we're, but, week but off, it's not yeah. even really a week off because we're going to still be moving and grooving and kind of setting up and, and getting things ready for season two because mm-hmm. it's going to look a little bit different, too, on the screen. Um, so it's not going to be the 15th. It'll be the 22nd. We will reconvene season two, episode yes, one. You dig what I'm saying? So uh, be ready for that because that's supposed to be litty like six titties. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, so I got some dad jokes. We got to, we got to, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we got to end it off on some dad jokes. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? Nope. nope. It's fine. He woke up. <laughs> oh, the kidnapping at <laughs> you school. Get, ah, that's dope. You I like, like that? It. It's okay. high. He woke up, though. Check this out. Okay, what orange and sounds like a parrot? What, what? What's orange and sounds like a parrot? Uh, Trump. A carrot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I was thinking hard. <laughs> you said a carrot? A carrot. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. So, uh, uh, when does a dad or when does a joke become a dad joke? I don't know. When you become a dad. When it becomes a parent. <laughs> a parent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 Dad yeah, jokes are real obvious. Okay, I, got, I got one more. Wordplay. What do you call a marathon <laughs> for pastors? A marathon for pastors? I don't know. A rev run. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I like so that. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more, one more, one more. Why is Peter Pan always flying? <laughs> Why? Because he never lands. Neverland. <laughs> Good one. Wordplay. Like Wordplay. All right, you know what I'm saying? Let's get <laughs> Let's move into some lighter stuff. How y'all doing? It's episode 50 of the Cushion Coffee Morning Show. Yes, God, God damn, it. damn it. It's crazy. But uh, you know what's some crazy shit to think about, too? Is the United States being as, you know, industry leading in the cannabis industry as we have been. We're about to be, like, behind. We're about to be the only North American country that's not, like, fully legalized. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You realize that? Yeah, facts, yes. So, <clears throat> Dog, who, who think about the, it. Because Mexico's legalizing their, their you know, finishing Canada up their is, thing. Canada's facts. been legal. We're the only fucking North American country that's not fully legalized on a federal level. Well, I'm not. Uh, Dog, we are fucking falling I'm behind. It. I'm over it. <laughs> over it. We got to get this shit going. It's, it's, really it's getting terrible. closer and closer, though, every day. We're bro, trying. So, like, I mean, you can't. I'm not going to scuff on the couple effort. years. <laughs> couple years, I think. But I just feel like as like industry leading as we are and as many people are trying to like, you know, do what we're doing, why are we not doing it the best? Right, right. So much pushback. Yeah, we should be. Exactly. You know we want to be the best at everything, though. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Shit. I'm just saying. And make saying, the most though. money. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, yo, look. A little update. Remember uh, the the Seth Rogen situation? We were talking about Seth Rogen was uh, introducing his company into the United States. Yep. Um, and it got literally an overwhelming response of people trying to, to, to cop. 
that okay. it shut, they had to shut down the website for oh, like man. a solid Damn, like few yeah. hours. Literally had to put a, like create a, a waiting room situation on the website so people could like go to the website and like sit in a waiting room. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, on, like yeah. trying to get you, like we trying to get your Jordans <laughs> yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, you, gotta, yeah. you, gotta, you know what I'm saying? Go in there just wait. That's oh, funny. Hopefully my ticket gets pulled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they had to shut it down because of high traffic, bro. Like they, the servers just could not yeah, handle that handle shit. It. Damn, people was, yeah. people was trying to show overwhelming support to Seth Rogen. But I, you got to understand, I mean, he's a popular stoner. So in, in the stoner community, like Seth Rogen's like one of those guys. He Where is. is his weed available at? Uh, it's on a website. It's uh, houseplants.com. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he has any brick and mortar situation set up yet, but he is selling. Uh, he has like a, a situation where they ha like have the products here in the States, I'm yeah, pretty sure, because... Yep. I'm, there's no like over country or over you know border lines and shit that you can do yet. I saw his so. Instagram where he was showing his um the the, the cases that the that the yeah yeah. Comes in. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah if you if you go on his Instagram like he's been showing it off for like the last few days mm -hmm. like the last yeah, week well, you, you know out. what I'm saying but uh yeah people are loving it because he does everything from like actual products that you can use. Um, all the way down to, you know, ashtrays and fucking lighters. And, oh, accessories you know what I'm saying? and all accessories that, yeah. And shit. I always see no. him sometimes, yeah. like, using, like, the different products. Yep, yeah, and most yeah, of like that shit now that we're figuring out is, yeah, a lot yeah. of this that he was, like, testing and beta testing back in the day, like, all those cool products <laughs> were his. <laughs> 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 oh, a lot of that shit was his stuff. Bro, this dude's a genius. Like, smoking gadget bags yeah, a lot like, of it is is was part of his stuff that he was testing out shit. You know, being a real stoner, like, hey, man, if I ain't gonna use this shit, nobody else is gonna use this shit. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was, you know, yeah. But uh, shout out to Seth Rogen, man. That shit's dope. I haven't looked at the website, but I'm going to go check it out now that I, like, realize every, it's up and going and it's, like, shut down and came back up and mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. hyped. So mm -hmm. I got to see what this hype. Are to people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to see what the hype's about. Yeah, yeah I got to. Some <laughs> month, bro. Yeah. yeah. Seth Rogen. Yeah, I got to yeah, see I what the hype's shit. about. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Yeah. I need it. So, uh, but, yo, let's jump over into something cool. So we have a cannabis coalition that is, like, coming up and it's basically like a situation of a bunch of like cannabis community leaders coming together to help influence the uh regulation like making process okay. you know what i'm saying set a set a set of standards yeah, yeah and and it's people who are like you know involved in the industry in many different fashions mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying or facets mm -hmm. uh so that you kind of get all the different perspectives i think it's a cool idea because the reality dope. is is like it's we're gonna yeah we're yeah, gonna yeah. You know, if like we all want legalization right. for sure, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like but we want it to be done right. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's actually not a bad idea to have people who are like invested in the industry, you know, a part of that process. Because the reality is, is just because they're invested doesn't necessarily mean that their intentions are ill, mm -hmm. right? Like absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like the reality is, is someone who's invested is gonna do the most to protect their investment for sure. Yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't want so, to take an L, so they're going to do what yeah, they got to do. Yeah, so They'll I think do their due diligence and all right, that. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I think by then having so many different perspectives and checks and balances, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to have, you won't, you'll, you'll stop a lot of the, you know, the nonsense from like one person gaining too much power because he has ultimate say of something. Facts. Or No, we don't know, need that. Yeah, yeah like yeah, you're going to have a, a lot of pushback community. and, yeah. you know, compromise that right. will happen okay. so that. Everybody could win. That's right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yes. So, and I think that shit's super dope. Yeah. Yeah. I, super I fucks fire. with that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's Build a uh, dream team. Yeah. And kind of yeah. to go along with that too, out in Massachusetts, you know, we've talked about like all their equality or, uh, yeah, their uh, equality programs or whatever for the uh, disproportionately yes. affected people yes. and all that stuff. Um, basically, just minorities. You know, we just yeah, keep first it a pick. Buck. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they've failed. It's, yeah, they keep I'm failing. It's not, it, it, doesn't, it, it didn't work. Right. But there's actually a, co uh, a company out there that is literally trying to help, like, give a roadmap. They're trying to, like, take this edge. Well, they have to kind of take an educational approach because that's part of, like, the agreement when you get all licensed and all that stuff. It's okay. like research, education. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Yeah. So, but to, you know, then they just wanted to be like, all right, well, fuck it. If we got to do some education shit, we're going to take it above and beyond, in my opinion, is what they did. And they're basically going to help people. Um, get into the industry or mm -hmm. give you the advice on how to get in the industry from all different aspects, from the lower levels all the way up into like entrepreneurship. Okay. Oh, so cool. like so they're going to show you the tools how to yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and they're doing a whole Zoom meeting oh, wow. on top of it on March 16th at noon. Like um, a public one? Where, yeah. 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 And they're going to just in. literally, if you follow them, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the company's name. Hold on. So you can go follow them on. It's, I think it's The Botanist. Yeah. It's called The Botanist um, is the company. So go follow them on IG. It's mm -hmm. out of Massachusetts. They have two stores or two locations. Um, but yeah, on noon or at noon, March 16th, they're going to send out a, uh, zoom link and they'll probably do it a little bit earlier before noon 
and you can actually just go and participate and just listen and, learn and just something. be a part of the, oh, cool. yeah, the whole experience. Yeah, it's just like a whole big thing. They're going to have a bunch of different people speaking and giving, you know, advice and experience and, you know, just different tools to be successful in this industry That's and make fire. cannabis a career. I'm going to have to tap into that. When yeah, is it again? I, yeah, on March 16th March at 16th. noon. So, But if you follow the the botanist on IG, um, the the or any of their socials, they'll put the, the link, I'm yeah, sure, like in the that bio. day somewhere. For sure. You know, earlier before that, so you could tap in. Yeah. But I thought that was just super dope. I was like, "What? Yeah, hell yeah, that's I'm cool." You know what I'm shit. saying? Yeah. And and right. they're trying to help focus, like, because the biggest thing is they want to give tools to the people who are having the hardest time getting yeah. in, which are the minorities, right? Like, yes. it's not the fact that I can get a license. Sure, it says in, in the law I can get one, mm-hmm. but, but the how? hardest part is. How do I get the funding? That's right. Nobody right. wants to right. back me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nobody right. wants to, to trust me with a loan and you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and give I don't me have it all myself. Yeah. Right. I need, I, I you know what I'm saying? Like I was in prison, you That's know, right. for a lot of the cases for these people who are like trying to take advantage and do something mm-hmm. different, but yeah. no one's giving them the full opportunity. It's just like, yeah, yeah you can. But like it's there. You got to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. yourself, but there, it How are you going to get that yeah. all figured out? Yeah. I don't know, but it's there. You show can do me. it. Yeah. So they're going to teach tools and like show you different avenues on potentially even how to raise money and, you know, where you could go to, you know, find these investors, yeah, navigate and these yeah. processes, yeah. essentially. You know what I'm saying? That's the good. best way to do it. So I thought that was super dope. Yes, you know education. Yeah, education. and I like the education. whole idea of this whole like coalition thing and making the industry, writing it up in a way that like uh-huh. is beneficial to everyone and and you know doesn't <clears throat> exclude fair. anyone. Yeah, yeah and just fair. touches all the the bases so we can just have a thriving industry. Um, and I like what they're doing down here in uh, Massachusetts with the botanist here. And them doing their little educational seminars and shit. And I hope that they oh, continue to do that. Hell yeah. You know, I hope that this is not just a one-off thing because they had to do it, but they kind of continue to grow on this because I think this is super important and other businesses could take this blueprint and, you know, <laughs> apply it. it. And apply it. You yeah, know what right. I'm saying? So, yeah, super, super dope. Fuck with it. Super dope. Um, but, yeah, hey, the next little thing I got, did you realize that you could be a, uh, a cannabis-sanctioned pro athlete? No, so so what? so you're protected. Yeah, you for you can use cannabis if you're a, a sanctioned pro athlete or cannabis any, sanctioned. Any, so it's any, like he's any excluded. Type of sport. They're excluded from like cannabis testing. What like you know what I'm saying? Like just how like if a doctor prescribes you opiates and yeah, then yeah, pops yeah. up in your system, you're they good. Can, yeah, because <laughs> we gave it to you. Yeah, same like now. Okay. So there's a, a so you ve- just need a script. A UFC veteran. Elias Theodore, I think that's how you say his name. The, the, crazy. Yeah, the beast, yeah. the Spartan is what they used to call him. You know okay. what I'm saying? With the braids and shit. Um, he got the first, he's the first pro athlete that's a cannabis sanctioned pro athlete. So he literally went through like a whole four year process yeah. to get sanctioned, um, you know, presented his case. You know, he did all his whole situation of like, you know, basically showing that how all the other alternatives that they were offering were affecting him and his lifestyle and his, you know, ab- ability to train, stuff like that. Right. Um, and then, you know, pr- pr- just gave all the information and research and data because he had doctors, you know, helping him out with this shit and writing up, you know, reports and all sorts yep, of shit. Fuck yeah, four, four so, years, you said? Yeah, he it took him about four research? years to yeah. get all the okay. research and all that stuff. He, he turned it in, got approved. Yeah. And now he has uh, the ability to use cannabis for um, all his, like, pain management needs yes. and everything else yes. like that you know what i'm saying which i thought was like super dope because so this is going to be a trickle down effect. yeah oh thing, yeah huh? for sure because yeah. i mean you already got like you know major sport leagues that are already like looking the other way yep. to cannabis you have you know major sport leagues like the nfl who are trying to experience or experiment with the idea of it Not adding testing, right well no ju- they're trying to add and figure out what applications cannabis has for all their athletes so where it wouldn't be where you'd have to be a sanctioned athlete, where it would just be that would be an alternative to the opiates. Like if you want to do the cannabis therapy or, you know, whatever, oh. like that should be, you know, an I'm option if it works. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Like the league is looking at it as an option for all athletes in the NFL to be able to use as an alternative right. to like opiates and shit. Hell yes. Fire, yes you right. And then you get out of here. Yeah. And then you got, you know, just like I said, hella leagues that are just like turning the other cheek and like, you know what? Like, we don't really need, you know, it's all right. Okay. We ain't tripping. Good. Good. Yeah, we go. We ain't tripping. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, yeah. So he has uh, submitted his case and was approved to use cannabis to treat pain associated with bilateral neuropathy. 
So, yeah. And, you know, basically he's a fighter who's beat his body up, broken yep. his hands. And, and shit is helping him 100%. Bones and all sorts of shit. Yeah. And he punches and kicks motherfuckers in the face for a living. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be real. You know, we, we know what, what go fighters. Go lather his body down. And yeah, oil, you know what I'm saying? He can do his thing now. Hell yeah. So, I thought that was super That, that is fire. That's, that's crazy, though. Mm-hmm. So, now, now they got, like, a setup process where everybody can go through or... I'm sure. I mean, yeah, it's just going to be overwhelming. That, that he thing. that he it's figured it out. I mean, everywhere. there was probably always a process to be able to use or be an alternative like medicine user. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure there was always some sort of process. Like, I don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. So, but yeah. Uh, now on to the mid pack shit, bro. Oh, I've been shit. saving this one for. I was mid-pack. saving this, bro. Saving this shit. So we got <laughs> Governor Ricketts. <laughs> <laughs> that name is a mid pack out right? of motherfucking rickets. Nebraska. You got the rickets. Oh, the way he looks. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Governor Pete Ricketts. I'm gonna tell you, sir. Get him. I don't really like you. <laughs> I don't like his face. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really like you. All right, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm gonna tell you the title of this shit. It says, "If you legalize marijuana, you're gonna kill your kids." Get the fuck that out. is a bro, we're pretty from, much direct quote. Here. Pretty much a direct quote from this motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Okay, look, I, I, we're gonna acknowledge his his points. Okay, we'll acknowledge the facts. Okay, let's okay? hear. It. Okay, we'll acknowledge. Okay. We'll acknowledge the facts. Basically, his whole point behind this is okay. There's hell of research coming out that you know is is makes the argument that using cannabis in younger ages, you know, is not great. Right, like it, it, heard it this messes with the gray matter in oh, the brain yeah. and yeah. stops, you know, cognitive abilities to be able to, uh, you know, a, a, a form and you know whatever. Sure, cool. I understand that. Yeah. I, you know, listen, well, I'm gonna acknowledge that because I agree. Fair. I don't. I don't <laughs> want anybody under the age of you know 21 for real using cannabis. You know what I'm saying? Unless no you're doubt. 18 with a med card and your doctor said so. Right. You dig right. what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Cool. Yes. So now, now that we've acknowledged the fact that you have some some facts. And some numbers and shit and percentages. Yes, we know that parents, there are some bad parents out there. You know what I'm saying? And they don't keep their shit away from their kids. There's some bad parents with them. who, you right, know. there's some bad parents who, who give their kids allowance and don't know where the fuck their kids be going. Oh and they go straight to the drug dealer up the street <laughs> and they buy some weed. Okay? You're, those, that's their fault. Those are the, the bad, those, that's natural selection, in my opinion. There you go. Yeah, I'm absolutely. just saying. Natural, when you are bad, when you're a parent like that, like, come on, bro. It's yeah. not that hard to put your shit up. Not at all. It's not that hard to educate your children. Don't be careless. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and then check on them a little bit. After. Right. And my other thing is, 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 is this the whole point of like all the regulations that have been happening is like this whole like, all right, we need to do as much research mm-hmm. and as much educating that we can. Those two things go hand in hand. Absolutely. You know what I'm yes, saying? Research and education. So, yes, we have all this, <laughs> this research now to prove that it's not good for you to use cannabis under the age of such and such. Yes. But now we need to start educating and letting everyone know that, teaching the parents not only all the effects of what happens if their kid gets into their stashes, mm-hmm. but how to properly store it. Do you think that's going to put a whole different stigma on cannabis, though? No. You don't think so? No, because it's not. There's How, how often do you really hear about kids getting into stuff other than the like really like the bad kids who just steal it from their parents because their parents don't put it up mm-hmm. or you know again the kids just having money that they probably didn't you know need and, and being curious and into some shit and having it up you know available like you know what i'm saying sure, yeah like let's be real we all were there one at absolutely one point. yeah i mean so, we can all put it on to the same thing as like when people have prescription pills I, again and i was i was gonna get to that like again and alcohol yeah. again yep, we talked about why. the liquor cabinets and shit most yeah. of the time most liquor cabinets ain't motherfucking locked up not at all right uh, you know what I'm they saying? Are, they're easily pickable. Right. Yeah. So my whole thing is, 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 is we didn't sit there and ban and sit there and have all this. Oh, you're gonna kill your kids because of alcohol. And, but we know that drink being just a, a drunk at a it. young age is not good for you either. They're just nope. aware of it's what could happen. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. So now that we are aware, yeah. we've done the research and we have the research, Mister Fucking Pickett or whatever your Ricketts, <laughs> yeah, stupid Ricketts. bitch ass <laughs> name is. <laughs> we need to start educating motherfuckers so that 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 shit doesn't happen and, and become a another situation or pandemic, if you will, of motherfucking underage use. But the reality is we have underage use in everything. Everything. All le- tobacco. Bro. All that. that. Do we not just sit there and change tobacco rules and shit? Like yeah. the last year? Yeah. Let's be real. Right. Come on. This is, a ever, this, is a, this is a problem that is always going to be there. Bro, mm-hmm. they was able to buy the tobacco and then the next year they was like, fuck. 
Right. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, so, little, my little sister went through that shit. Yeah. yeah. Look, so that's my thing, man. I, I That's why you get the mid-pack of the fucking century. You get the mid-pack of the goddamn season. Facts, bro. Mm-hmm. You know one. what I'm saying? You Jeez. you just yeah. happened to motherfucking happen on the episode 50, sir, when we <laughs> end this season one. Jeez. And I got to say, that is the most mid-pack shit that's happened yeah, in season get one. Get your credit for being oh, stupid. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. You dig what I'm saying? Crazy, fucking bro. stupid, Pete. <laughs> Come on, Pete. Your motherfucker. How did you become the governor anyway? You Where's, What God governor? Damn. Where's he at? Nebraska. That's of why. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't governing shit, but corn, motherfucker. <laughs> fuck you. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, anyways, you know, I had to have my little rant. You know, it is what it is. You know, Pete, if you ever want to come on and, you know, clarify some shit and, you know, maybe have a conversation, we can definitely do that. Hey, hit your boy up. That guy, Mile High, on IG and every other social media platform. You dig what I'm saying? Or you can go find all my, you know, other shit that's <laughs> contact me in the description below. <laughs> fuck that guy, though. Fuck that guy. Mid pack shit. Fire! Shot fire! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> y'all just did this shit like that. That's the mid pack of the motherfucking season, yeah. dog. Hell right. yeah. Damn. They gonna remember this one, goddamn. You gonna remember this one. Remember it. <laughs> Write it down. Take a picture. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Damn. But anyways, yo, man, it is the end of season one. And I wanna end this this episode off talking about what we all remember the most or liked the most or hated the most or whatever right. about season one. Mm-hmm. Start with you, Eric. What um, about you, man? I remember waking up at fucking between 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. That's what I'll never forget. <laughs> Ever. It's oh, changed, man. It's changed my life. It's changed your life, no, though. No, but that's <laughs> but that's also my favorite thing, though, is getting up that early, bro. And um, the consistency of mm-hmm. seeing, like, we're right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, shoulder to shoulder. Yep. It's dope as fuck, bro. Hell, yeah. I yeah. appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Gang shit. What about you, Turner? Um, I'd have to agree with you on that uh, aspect of it, just getting up and the consistency. That's probably my favorite part because it keeps me going. That's every right. Day. Hell um, yeah, bro. That's a fact, bro. But like, as far as moments go, shit, you just topped it right there. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back and watch that and be like, all right, I like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What about you, Ashley? I think I've enjoyed most about the show is like all the interviews and just how like interactive and fun it is. Hell yeah, I appreciate that. That's dope. Yeah, I'd have to say for me, I, I would have to agree with you guys on the getting up and the consistency part. Like it just, it's a great way to start the day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's like just it to be able to. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just set the tone on some positive shit. You know, waking up, just kind of and interacting with people in like a good way. You know what I'm saying? I think yep. that's you know it's helped me out a lot. Like I've grown a lot just in my personal life. You know, through this Facts. process because it's like all right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, things ain't so bad. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's right, bro. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Like, I never thought that I was going to have a morning show or be on a morning show, bro. Like, it never even crossed my mind. And look where we at. Yeah. I definitely wasn't planning on being on no damn show. <laughs> yeah. None of that no. Shit. And so look what happened. Same. It's and dope as fuck, bro. Because, you know, it gets me out of my show. It makes me, you know, talk and be more. Yeah, happy. and I have to say, Ashley, from the first time you came till now, you're definitely, like, a, I, you could tell you're more comfortable you know what I'm saying? You still don't talk a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's, again, you, you could tell you're just kind of a, a more shy person and you don't really have a lot to say. But when you do, you have something to say. Um, but I think in season two, as you continue to come back and you get more familiar with, like, me, Vante, Eric, and just the surroundings, like, you'll have a lot to offer. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I continue to, you know, invite you back. Yep. Because I see the potential of, like, you know, Absolutely. your personality. And, and even the way that you interact with us off camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a big indication on, you know, whether it was going to work or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just have a super chill vibe. So, yeah, like, I think moving forward, you're only going to add and become more comfortable and be more confident in yourself and your ability to talk about what we talk about, yeah. you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, yeah, that you're here. And then, Vontae, bro, you, you motherfucking, like I said, bro, me and you go way back. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I already knew what you was going to bring to the table when you came on. Just, you know, some real talking shit raw. You know what? Facts. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah, that's you know what right. I'm saying? I do me. Like, that's my nigga. Like, yeah, he's fuck always been like Hell that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Since I can remember. So, yeah. And then I think one of the other cool things about this situation is, like you said, Eric, is getting to know you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've actually found ourselves, you know, doing Working other, outside of this, yeah, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing stuff with, with Havana together. Facts. Stuff with, with uh, high grade together. You know what I'm saying? And and. Oh, soon to do more shit. We got Absolutely. music videos we want to shoot because I got some new music for y'all too. Um, but we got, we got some music videos we wanted to shoot because you know, I know you're trying to get into that shit. Absolutely. Um, and we got just more shows and stuff that we're going to be adding to the channel moving on this year that we're just getting together. 
Because it's got to be done right. We're talking full productions in this bitch. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You dig? Let's fucking work. Yeah, That's I'm it. excited. So, but yeah, make sure you become a member. You know what I'm saying? Because if you want to watch these shows live in the morning, and I think we're going to start adding a little bit extra something to the morning show live for members only, where, you know what I'm saying? You might get an extra, like, 10, 15 minutes of, of content. You know what I'm saying? That you just, you won't see right. on the motherfucking show. That's right. You dig what I'm exclusive. saying? Exclusive. Exclusive shit. And on top of all the other exclusivities that we are giving you. You dig? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, shout out to y'all. And we got, man, so much new stuff coming, bro, for season two. It's going to look different. Um, we're going to, the OBS stuff, we're going to be trying to get that up, up and running, right, so that we can transitions and, it's gonna be look, you know what it's I'm saying? Look you'll like be able a real to see, TV show. Yeah, you'll be able to see what we see or Absolutely. what I'm seeing. You dig what I'm saying on here? There's still, we'll have to figure out a way for them to be able to see some shit, too. We'll have to just have y'all pull it up on your phone so you can be able to see, too. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to figure, figure out something, out. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Shit, I could bring my, my MacBook. See, there you go. Boom, see? And you know what I'm saying? We all look all super official. Hell yeah. Super official. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, hey, Turner, you need a motherfucking road. I'm going to keep it a buck with you right now, dog. You need a motherfucking road for season two. (laughs) You know what? And and, 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 and you know what? And I'm going to call you out too, Eric, because he... he said, if he's going to get one, <laughs> I gotta get you got to get one. All and right. I kind of feel that, bro. Right. You're you yeah. very much a part of this shit, yeah. too, sir. Right. You need to be, you know what I'm saying? You. I everybody got you. Look cozy. Hey, everybody got to play the part. <laughs> look yeah. the part. You know what I'm saying? This is like fucking uniform in this bitch. And I might be on camera <laughs> season two. So you See, hey, you never know. Yeah, because we're going to have, we, we got the, uh, we're going to have the camera right there. Yeah, so you'll be able to switch over to him and shit yeah. and let him oh, see, show his pretty face. Because you've seen him in a few <laughs> things. You just got to watch. A quick little cameo like yeah. a ninja. Look, yeah, little in ninja and out. Shit. No, yeah, girl, cause, uh, before, I even, uh, before I even start coming on here, I just used to listen. I'm like, and then when I saw it on Instagram, I was like, where's the other guy? <laughs> Where is he? Who is he? Yeah, because I tag him in everything. So if you really, if you really want to cheat code, some homework. you got to do some homework. <laughs> yeah. I'll just tell you. You got to go to uh, one of my social medias. I ain't yep. going to tell you which one. Do your homework. <laughs> go follow it's me on all them motherfuckers. There, you think what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's give a big shout out to all of the uh, the sponsors, man, because uh, you guys have definitely made this shit that much more fun and, and that much more dope. So we got high grade. We still got this 10K bottle. I was We we need to crack this shit open, but I don't know if we're going to crack this. We might do one of them hunnids because I don't honestly, <laughs> bruh. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't think I, I my day. I got shit to do hey, today. So I'm, yeah, I was like, I don't, mm, I got shit I don't know to do if I want to do that. I got shit to do today. But shout out to my dogs, uh, uh, Josh and Low over at High Grade Man and the whole team over there because they definitely make some fire ass product. You know what I'm saying? These are the hundred milligram rec sizes that everybody can get. They got blueberry, lime, simple, watermelon, strawberry, grape. And pineapple, I believe. And lime. Right? Yeah. I, I said the lime. You said lime. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I said lime. If I didn't, they got lime too. Yep. But uh, yeah, they got all sorts of flavors, man. You could do all sorts of stuff with it. You could drink it straight out the bottle. You could pour it up in some juice. You could pour it up in some pop. You could cook with it. Whatever you want to do. It's like the, the the simple one. You could do damn near anything you want with it, bro. It don't taste like anything, so you can add it and cook it with it and do mm-hmm. all sorts of craziness with it, bro. Um, and then all the other flavors. I mean, just get creative because. That's all I do. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's right. all Hell I yeah. do. Mix so, them. Fuck it. Yeah, do what you got to do. Uh, and then we got, ugh, we got a couple things right here. We got Crystal Leaves, the Cuban Crew flower that's inside of this. You know what I'm saying? That shit gas. And Habana okay. Extracts, which we got one of their little things right here. You know what I'm saying? This is a whole conglomerate right here. We got an extraction company, a grow and a storefront that you can go copy that. Really you know killing what I'm shit. Yeah, really killing shit. And be on the lookout for uh, discount codes too. So like with hi- high grade, we'll have a discount code um, and a place for you guys to go and purchase and use that code. That's you know what fire. I'm saying? Super soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're working that out right now. Um, so season two, be on the lookout. We'll have commercials that will be, you know, for all the, all the sponsors. We'll be, you know, you'll have your regular YouTube commercials. But we're going to go ahead and up the game. We're going to give y'all actual commercials that, you know, from our sponsors. You dig? Yeah. Um, and then same with uh, Crystal Leaves, man. We're getting the, the, the coupon code. For them as well, but if you go into Crystal Leaves now and you mention the morning show or you mention Mile High, uh, they'll they'll go they'll hook you up. You know what I'm saying? But we'll have an official discount for you guys to use um, at the store when you go in, and that you could use it on the flour, you can use it on the concentrate, you can use it on the syrup that they have with High Grade. They actually have uh, the Habana extracts did a collaboration with High Grade and put their rosin inside of it. So you know what I'm saying? You copy some of that shit too, Dope. gang shit. 
Um, and then we got a few other ones that uh, we don't have products to kind of physically give or show you, but we'll have a lot of visuals and, and stuff that you'll see me promoting. Um, so THC girls, you know what I'm saying? The high country girls. Shout out to my, my homegirl, Krista, and her entire team and what they're doing over there. If you guys are a small business that's trying to live inside or around the cannabis industry, you're trying to capitalize and grow your business and thrive, hit me up. I can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, get you guys connected with the THC girls because they are a branding uh, marketing and consulting company that can help you from, you know what I'm saying, A to Z, whatever you need. If you need just to help get your operations in order, you just need some some conversation and pointers, well, they got you. But if you need the full shebang, you need them to help you get content, help distribute that content, you need a little bit more attention and you want that attention, they got you there too. You dig what I'm saying? So make sure you hit them up, follow them. All their, their stuff will be down in the descriptions as well. And then of course, we got my dog, Eric, in the yes, content sir. creation studio. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole lot of shit coming out of this fucking place. I appreciate y'all. Absolutely. Make sure y'all follow y'all them. working, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. We are, we're fucking moving. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to make shit happen. So, again, I can't thank you enough, Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, bro. You, I appreciate you, you bro. You getting up and, and doing this shit with me. I know it was a daunting task at the beginning when we first had conversations. Yeah, it was like, Ugh. And I know everybody was real skeptical mm-hmm. of like, man, are we going to... Are we going to do this? Or are we going to do this? Right. Like, you know? Hey, you bro, did I, this just, shit. I just want to say, bro, it's rare to find people that are, like, with that shit. You know Facts. What I'm no. like, and like, that's like, when you do find them, you know that, and bro. you guys t- that, and take stick that's together. That's right. That's being, being cool. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's just, like, we know, like, bro, like, I believe in you, bro. And, that's right. And I'm here, bro. Even, though, like... It don't got to be nothing in front of me, bro. I know. Like, I know what, what could happen. Absolutely, yep. bro. Big facts. Feel the same way, yeah. bro. Those, those so. people that fuck with you like that, keep them. Yeah, exactly. big facts. Yeah, so and I And that's why I give him 100%. Bro. Hell yeah. And I, yeah, he does too. You know, there's <laughs> you know? never, we've never had a disagreement, argument. Like I try to, you know, and I, and I think that's, there's that mutual respect because, Absolutely. you know, I try to bring him, I've brought him on to projects with me and given him opportunities to like, you know, even upgrade. Like yesterday he got to come work, uh, got to go work at Hi- uh, Habana and do some video stuff. Cause yeah. I don't do video. I take pictures. You know what I'm Fire. saying? So Fire. I knew like, no, bring yes. my dog over here real quick. <laughs> he got the video game yeah, on a yeah. lot. Yeah. So, you know, he got to, you know, bring his camera and, and flex his, his abilities and then, you know, it it made Adam go fucking like upgrade like a motherfucker. <laughs> real, and he got to sad. Yeah, and he got to go yeah. yesterday and spend two hours using Adam's camera and, and make video and do, you know, his thing and shit. And and we get to collaborate. Like I have, you know, like I'm like, bruh, like this shit's dope. You shit's know what I'm hard. saying? Helping me, you know, create content, helping create opportunity. Like I'm with the shits. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys, man. JD and, and Josh, too, as well. You know what I'm saying? They're not here all the time, but yep. when Shout I do to them, run into them, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They're definitely a big reason for why this is possible. Okay. Um, yeah, and then there's even some other people that we're trying to get into the works and, and, and on board, and I'll even, you know, just throw them out there, like Buddy Jane. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. If you aren't following that social media or downloaded and on that platform, make sure you do that. It's like a weed Instagram. It's a cannabis community, you know, directed Instagram situation. So you won't yep. get community guidelines stricted or ban or whatever, all that nonsense that you deal with on IG on Buddy Jane. You can upload all your weed videos. You can upload all your blunt rolling and crazy dabs and whatever shit. you yep. want, bro. And you were not going to have no, you know, no worries if shit your shit's happening. gone in the morning. Yeah, you dig. So let's let's go over there and then follow me, man. It's that guy mile high. I hope that y'all get on there too. You dig? Make sure y'all follow them. Yesterday. Cool, see? I just need to set it up. Gang shit. Um, and then we got like Lou's Baked Goods out of New York. You know what I'm saying? They sent some uh, baked goods. I'm going to have to bring the, the rest of the cookies. I forgot. I keep forgetting them. They're my fucking. Uh, yeah, I need to try them. Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. good, bro. Okay. Really good. And I'm going to have to get some more and give you the fresh ones when they Word. come in the next time. Um, because these ones, they've obviously kind of been sitting. I've yep. had them for like, I think, a week. And I forgot. Need some fresh joints. Yeah, and that's why I said, I was like, you know, honestly, I'll probably just, you know, hit them up and I'm going to give you the fresh ones this time. Because I got to try the churro donuts and he sent me some cookies. Fire. Fire? Fire, bro. Fire. And I even got mine's like a few days. They weren't even like 100% fresh, but it was still lit. Say less. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Say less. So shout out to them. If y'all want some baked goods, hit up, you know, lose baked goods. Um, You dig what I'm saying? Um, And and if anybody else wants to be involved sponsor-wise or just company-wise, you want to shout out, you just want to support the show, you want to be a part of this. Like I said, we're doing commercials. You dig what I'm saying? (laughs) Hit your boy up. You know what I mean? And we can work something out. You know what I'm saying? All right, I love y'all. Shout out to everybody who supports this, you know, all the, the, the supporters and fans. I love you guys. I'll see you season two, all right? We'll be back at this in a week. 
Oh, well, yeah. Week and a little over a week. You dig what I'm saying? A little over a week. <laughs> on, on March 22nd. We'll be right we'll be back, back, back like we never left. Like we never left. But be on the lookout, too, for other content. Members only will be seeing some reactions dropping here soon. Um, and then, you know, I got some new music and, and some other things that we'll be doing as well. So just make sure you follow me on everything. You dig what I'm saying? I love you guys. There is no me without you. Always remember to live life high. Honest, intelligent, genuine, humble. Because I remember, like, God damn, I'm sexy. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.